Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, I have an airstrike uh, gameplay for you. This is myself. I'm going to be playing the Arizona here. And in airstrike, the Arizona does really, really well. We don't get the Kraken, but we certainly do get six sickings, including the Carrier at the end. And it's, uh, it's a pretty darn good match the Arizona. It really does dominate well in this one. And the fact that we're going up against four destroyers, a bunch of cruisers, and, a, and I think a battleship in there, as well as the aircraft carrier itself. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it was the um, the the, uh, the Ranger or the uh, the Japanese carrier, I'm not sure. But either way, I wanted to do this match because I wanted to uh, see just how well the Arizona performs against aircraft. Now the AA I find on the, air, on the Arizona is not the best. Obviously, the California, I think, is optimal for the battleship, the Tier 5 for the uh, AA. But um, the Arizona does do okay. And at least with the maneuverability of these wide-body battleships, you can actually end up um, getting out of the way of some of those, uh, some of those torpedo uh, bombers. But uh, it's very difficult to uh, maneuver against dive bombers. And uh, we're going to see this ship get hit by a number of uh, dive bombing uh, HE bombs, as well as the odd torpedo or two from the torpedoes. But you know what? We shoot down a lot of aircraft anyways with this ship. Now, the one thing I find that's going to be very valuable when you're in airstrike with carriers is the use of the, um, the fighter aircraft on board that you have here. It uh, performs uh, quite well. And uh, already we're starting off with some uh, fire because right off the bat, the enemy carrier is making a beeline for my ship. You can see the uh, torpedo bombers coming in for an attack run right now. So we're going to turn our ship inwards here to deal with those uh, torpedo bombers coming down. You can see they just dropped the uh, the ordnance there, and basically we blew up a lot of uh, uh, torpedo bombers. So the actually AA did quite well there. You can see another, another uh, torpedo bomber splashing into the ocean there. You know, I just try to, uh, okay, we're going to take a shot in there. Now, I just try to play very, like I would normally play the game. Just realize that we do have some more fighter aircraft around. And just be, now one thing I would like to have is that when we're piloting our ships, I would, I would like to have a viewer so that we can actually look right up into the air because we can't see above us. And I don't like that. I like to be able to see above us. Maybe that's something that uh, Wargaming will make a change with in the future once they do bring uh, uh, carriers into the game uh, officially. To have a better view of our surroundings, I would like to be able to look up in the air so I can see where those planes are. Now, you can see I have my fighter aircraft up there right now because you can see the dive bombers coming in. And I think they may well be going after my Arizona again. <laughs> Thinking, well, that's an easier target to hit. And uh, we're just trying to, yeah, see, we just took a, uh, an uh, HE bomb hit from the dive bombers there. And uh, we're shooting down some more aircraft there. Unfortunately, my uh, fighter aircraft got shot down, I believe. We still have to wait for a minute. I would like to have um, the cooldown to be a lot uh, quicker. I think the minute and a half, I think, is the cooldown for the fighters. I think that's too long. I think we're going to probably have to look maybe at 60 seconds or a minute at most. Either way, we don't have any sinkings yet, but we are going to get four sinkings in this, including the carrier at the end. We are going to be the last ship standing. And uh, <laughs> it was a close call. Now, uh, most people, when they play the carriers, end up backing up the carriers right to the back of the map. And that's a tactic, but uh, I think it's probably better and more wiser to move your carriers up as your team moves up because then you can get your aircraft into the fray a lot quicker. Now we're firing on an Icarus there. We're going to try and take that maybe out. Now we are getting some damage on that thing and we got some more damage there just over pens. So right now we're going to go after that ship over there. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to turn our ship to get a good shot on this uh, ship here. It's going in a straight line away so we should be able to sink that. And there we go. That's our first sinking there. And our second areas are opening up on the... Now, we just got another sinking there. Uh, we just took something out. I don't know what it was. Or, yeah, or that, that was our first. Yeah, that was our sinking there. We shot on that ship. Okay, now the second one. Now, our secondaries are still firing on that uh, destroyer over there. 
and we're going to retarget over there. Now you can see we just shot down some more aircraft there. And we've also got another ship sitting out there. We're going to take a shot and we're going to focus on this uh, battleship over there now and see if we can get rid of it. <laughs> okay. And we do have some uh, a whole whack of uh, torpedoes coming through. Now we do sink that ship there, which was great. We did take a torpedo hit there. That was a lot of torpedoes. Now we're going to move our ship over to the right again to get our to get our guns turned on the Icarus that's sitting in our base there. We're going to help out our destroyer over there by trying to take out this Icarus if we can. And at the same time, you just got to be aware that um, we're, in a, we're a good target for the enemy carrier because we're getting close to his carrier. And uh, with that shells there, they missed. But we're going to fire our rear batteries and hope we can get a hit this time. If we can hit that uh, Icarus, we can kill it. And sure enough, we did. We got another destroyer there. So that gives us our third sinking, I believe. We're only at 35,000 in damage. But we've done a lot in this match. And right now... We're uh, moving to over towards the... Uh, you can see where those planes are coming. we got dive bombers coming in on us. But the planes are obviously coming from the island area over there. So that's where his carrier must be. We're just kind of zig and zagging here to try to make this dip. Okay, look at that. Big, huge uh, bomb blast there from the, torpedo, from the dive bomber. We shot down uh, a couple of more aircraft. We're adding to our shot down aircraft collection there. Arizona's doing a pretty good job of shooting them down. And there's the dive bombers again over there. We're going to head in that direction of the carrier. Because once we can get close up to that carrier, our uh, batteries will just sink it in no time at all. Another aircraft shot down, which is great. And there it goes, smashing into the water beside us. I do like that animation. Our, our, um, our fighter aircraft is up in the air, protecting our ship a bit there too, which is kind of nice. Now we only have, um, well, we're going to get some healing in here. We're going to have about half our hull points here. And as you can see right there, we just disconnected. <laughs> All right, well, let's get back. I did a little brief editing there, so we could just pull that right forward. We, we reconnected now. We're back in. You can see the uh, um, the aircraft have gotten uh, a shot in us with the torpedo bombers because we have a flooding going on. And so you can see we're shooting at an aircraft there, and we're going to take another, uh, another uh, torpedo strike here. Luckily, we didn't get any flooding on that one. It's really hard for the uh, enemy torpedo bombers to... Uh, get flooding on you it's a very low percentage so we have a good idea where their uh, their ship is now and we're going to maneuver our, our ship over there now we've got three sinkings we've done a few other things shot out a bunch of aircraft and uh, now we want to get ourselves our first carrier sinking with the arizona and that's the plan <laughs> okay so we have to get close enough now it's around here somewhere okay there there it is it's right there you see where the uh, dive bombers are that's exactly where the carrier is going to be, over in that location right there, once we've uh, got caught wind of those dive bombers. He's going to drop those right on us here. We got our flak going up right now, damaging some of the aircraft. We don't have any more fighter aircraft on board our ship, so we can't make use of those. Now, we took a good uh, direct hit from an HE bomb right there. It didn't start any fire on us, luckily. We have 29 seconds before we get a repair. We just shot down two enemy aircraft right there, which is great. Their squadron's right down now. We're still waiting to uh, see the, uh, the carrier. It's around here. Come on, where are you, carrier? Okay, we just took some more uh, HE bomb hits there. The that did cause a fire this time. We're letting that fire burn because we can't do anything else about it. We shot down some more aircraft there and some more aircraft. So the Arizona's doing a pretty good job of shooting down aircraft. Now, I was thinking about putting this fire out and uh, or letting it burn. I'm thinking I'm way, my, I'm down way too far in the hull point, so I'm going to have to probably put this fire out, and I believe I probably ended up doing that. Yeah, there I go. I took the fire out, thinking, okay, this this match go either way, now. either way now. I can get sunk here, or I'm going to sink their carrier. That's all they got left is their carrier. But uh, the only big drawback here is the Arizona is quite a slow ship, so I'm meandering my way over there. <laughs> so, thinking, all right, what's he going to send out? Okay, he's got torpedo bombers coming in this time. I'm thinking, good, because I can at least dodge those things. 
he's got to get really, really close to me to utilize them properly. And so we're going to start turning inwards. That's the best way to dodge these guys that are coming head on. And uh, we got some shots. Okay, here's the torpedoes. Now we should dodge those. And we should uh, shoot down some aircraft here, I would hope. And there is the enemy carrier. It's a Japanese carrier over there. And we're going to start throwing the, the uh, AP shells into it. Her shells away. And the reason why we see it is because the um, our our allied aircraft are uh, doing some runs on it. And here comes some more torps. Hopefully, we can shoot down that uh, that Kate. And sure enough, we shot down a Kate there, and the torp misses. And then I think our allied aircraft are going to get shot down here, so I'm going to do some hail mary shots at that carrier. So yeah, see now we can't see the carrier. But it just took up some uh, aircraft. And I'm thinking it's got to be right about there. So we're going to take the shots. That's our first Hail Mary. And sure enough, we get lucky. We hit the ship and we get the Citadel on it. And so we're going to do the exact same thing with our rear batteries. We are going to guess where it is. Kind of in that area. And now we are going to take the shot again. And hopefully we get the carrier. We just got a fire started. And sure enough, we get lucky, we get the multiple citadels on that blind shot, and we get the sinking, and we end up winning the match. Four sinkings for the Arizona there. That was a good match with the Arizona. That was a lot of fun. So the Arizona does a pretty good job in airstrike. 75,000 damage, a couple of uh, citadels all on the carrier, four sinkings, a few other things. We got number one on the leaderboard, so that's awesome. Anyways, there you have it. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like, and of course, be wonderful if you would subscribe for future videos on my channel for World of Warships. Other than that, this is Spotted Gecko Gamer, and I shall see you on the seas next time.